one of the features this package has is it has eight casters or rollers which can turn 360 degrees mounted along its perimeter so you have one two three four five six seven and eight so why did we mount these eight casters is simply because we can move the cage around so as you can see now there is a patch a rectangle patch because the cage was sitting down here after three to four days simply just push the cage to another location why because the birds dropping whatever pets dropping if they have dropped their food or water it is actually a natural fertilizer to the grass okay you can see this is all the bird section and this is the quail section so you can see that all the food droppings they are they are poop this will act as a natural fertilizer for the grass so the maintenance work to clean the cage becomes much more easier so you can see now the base of the cage is actually the grass and the pets love this very much because they will come down especially these love birds they will come down and they will eat the grass as and when they wish obviously we have the bird food here right so to keep them in an environment which is close to the green or the nature right because they are always with the nature so that's why we provide the carpet grass or any sort of grass okay so as you can see at this particular part so these are the quails and obviously you have to remove the water and you have to remove the the, the, the food when you want to move the cage okay unless you mount it up and your pets need not to be moved or removed out all right because when they are the cage is being uh, relocated they are smart enough to basically just walk in they will not get trapped at the at the bottom of the cage why because there is a protective netting all around right especially the birds compartment so that they cannot escape through the opening here okay there is a protective netting all around you can see the white strap here so a netting a plastic netting has been placed along the perimeter in the cage the second feature of this cage is the door okay in the previous design the door was made to slide up and slide down okay so this is how the door was opening so the handle was there so the door was being slide up and then you put in two pin to prevent the panel of the door to come down and then you go in and go out and i found it quite troublesome because the posture involved the opening involved not very convenient right a lot of bending of the back so it's not very convenient so decided to change the design by means of sliding up and coming down opening up this way right by means of a compressed damper where we will i will show you in a while install left and right in the cage with the door and this damper uh, one of it is 150 newton of force so how this thing works basically you just come in here you just have to give a gentle pull automatically it will lift up by means of the damper so we have one damper here and two dampers right one of the damper is 150 newton so if you want this thing to move up by itself you may use 150 newton or slightly more than that if you want it to stay at any location you do not want it to move out you reduce the force of the damper because these are all available in the market right especially in the places where they sell the accessories for kitchen cabinets 
right? Because these are all used for kitchen cabinets, door, doors, enclosures, and so forth. And then you want to close the cage. Just simply press it down, and you may lock it left and right, right? So when you open the cage, right? We cannot make the door very big, okay? So this is uh, suitable. So obviously you're going to go in. So while you go in. You will be seeing a wood here so the wood is also protected here now by means of an insulation type of property whereby if you hit the wood you will not feel any uh, pain or there will be no any harm caused on your body because this is a damper element soft element okay where it, it will protect you if you happen to hit it okay that is second feature the third feature is when you want to access to the bird compartment right how are you going to access to the bird compartment and what is the feature we are talking about basically this is the bird compartment and you have a door here right now you notice that if you open the door the door is quite big if you open the door the tendency for the bird to fly out is very high right imagine keeping a bird or a pair of birds where their price is extremely expensive. Example, a pair of parrot costs about 1,500 ringgit Malaysia. Right? So, in order for them not to fly out, or if they happen to fly out, you're still able to uh, catch them and put back at this location. So, we made two door system. So, this is the first door. So, how to access to the bird cage? You open this door. You go inside, right? You have to go in. So once you are in, you need to close this door. So there's also a handle provided on top. And this handle is a very long handle. So you need not to locate the handle when it is small. You can just simply just put your hand inside and just pull it. Okay? And now the door is closed. So when the door is closed, you may open this door. There are three latches here. To undo the three latches. You open this door. You go in. Immediately you go in. There is a latch. You can close it from the other side. So now if you open the door. If the bird happen to fly out. They will be in this compartment. And is fully netted. Okay. So you will be still able to catch them. And put back at their home. Which is the bird's compartment so when you are here there is a latch on top there to latch it so that is one of the the third feature of the of the cage <coughs> okay the fourth feature of the cage is the storage compartment right so this pet cage comes in with a built-in storage compartment you just open up here okay you can see this part here is empty you may store any type of pet food their accessories and all that here and it's all covered up right so you can close and you can open so this is the the fourth feature of the cage the fifth feature of the cage is you have these blinds attached to the cage at only one side because you don't want to close the entire case or oh, it's up to you okay you want to put the blinds maybe all around it's up to you but for my case here i'm only putting it here because most of the time the sunlight is from this side so i put the blinds here so that it can give some sort of shade to the pets so, six feature of the cage obviously this is something to do with uh, safety right so we are using a zinc material at the edge here although it has been grinded by a grinder and is made round on the material but it's still dangerous because you might hit it is at head level right so we put some sort like a l insulated part okay to protect anybody's head from physically hitting this part okay and also the entire entire zinc of the roof site is also protected by a, a insulation material so that because this I noticed this is at my height 
okay so anybody with 175 cm in height their tendency to hit this is very very high so in order to prevent any injury so we put uh, some sort of damping material okay this damping material is actually actually the uh, insulation tube for uh, air conditioning system installed in a typical house okay okay the seventh feature of the cage is basically the roof design so the roof design is made in such a way whereby is inclined at a certain angle right and there is no cover here obviously we can cover it to look more presentable right but there is no cover here why because we want air circulation to go in go out to keep the compartment cool okay the compartment cool hence the air circulation inside here will be good if we happen to close up this zinc material will trap heat during the day when the sunlight is intense so this heat eventually will be transferred to the birds or the pets inside the cage so in order to eliminate all this we have implemented an open concept design right which is all netted and last but not least is the accessories which you may place it in this case we have placed some accessories for the birds to chill okay to relax some uh, hanging decoration or hanging uh, a structure for them to sit down and to swing because this is to simulate their nature in the actual environment right in the jungle and all that so obviously we got a hammock here okay uh, the water is hanging why the color is this because it is mixed with the vitamin c right the water is not placed on the floor because their droppings might go into their wa the water and it will pollute the water so when they drink the water they might get sick so it is encouraged or recommended you to hang their drinking water so that when they want to drink they just come over they sit at the side here and they drink uh, vice versa we also got one here but as you can see oh, okay you can see some of the droppings inside there so this is to be eliminated right because when they come here they sit here you know they, they poop and the poop goes in the water this will contaminate the water right the chances for them to come sick is very high so this type of setup is recommended okay and try not to have any structures around to prevent them sitting there too long and to poop in the water this is just nice Right? Obviously, we got their breeding box or their, their, their private homes where they can go inside right, and have their private moment or you know, uh, during their mating season and all that because this enclosure are independent enclosure meaning which one hole here, if they go in, they cannot access to another hole from inside. They have to go out and go into the next hole, right? the inlet. And obviously, before they go in, you need to have a support here. Why? Because when they fly, they will come to the support. They will sit down here and from here, they will hop in. So when they hop out, they come on the support and they will go out. So you need a support. <coughs> okay. And if you want to do any maintenance in these nesting boxes, this cover can be open. Right. And you can access the entire box inside to do some cleaning and all that down it is totally netted so their poop and all that will drop freely okay so to reduce the maintenance of these nesting boxes is also one of the reason why the netting is done okay but <clears throat> you can see there are some sort of structure here coming out this structure is actually to slide in a plate okay so this whole thing will be covered by means of a thin plate sliding in and this is needed especially during mating season because mating season they do not like themselves to be exposed so you want to keep them in a place where it is dark and enclosed all around so that is the purpose of the plate okay so you can see all the birds are relaxing here right so we got another nesting box here right and obviously you have another box down here because if you happen to put the quails here they get along well with the bird with the birds right but these quails they tend to breed or lay eggs in a compartment <clears throat> so we had made a compartment right and okay, maybe just 
take from this side right so they can go in right and there is also netting on the floor so they may go in to lay their eggs or maybe to take a to, to, to relax or chill from the sunlight you know because it's cooling inside it's all made of uh, wood it's all made of uh, water resistance wood material right and it is also painted and this paint it is a biodegradable paint meaning which if the pets happen to chip on the paint and they happen to eat on the wood chips they will not fall sick because the paint is natural 